Let's go. Hello, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube set. Set? Yes, set. Chat, say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Who here knows? Who here knows Idops? Who here remembers Idops? Idops? Is a fossil of time, man. Idops is a fossil of YouTube. Does he do, still do videos? Like, last I remembered, like, I don't even know if he's together with her anymore. Who's that? No, I don't know. I feel like you guys will remember. I feel like you guys will remember. From losing over 700,000 subscribers, like, as I'm pretty well sure you've at least heard base, of him. Idubs is without a doubt facing one of the worst downfalls in YouTube history. A good amount of people are just doing the reasonable thing and just making jokes and laughing about it. But there's a whole nother group of people who feel personally devastated and betrayed. You lied to us. All of this begs the question, how did one of YouTube's most iconic there, creators that's a guy. become the laughingstock in the eyes of both you know, his fans I'm jumping and down the here. broader internet there, I'm community? Gay. There, Hi, that's I'm a, the Internet Anarchist. I create a, weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be diving into the controversial career and downward spiral of iDubs, a creator who built his career on criticizing others, but fell victim to it himself. Mm, there, he made content started his journey on YouTube in 2012, and almost immediately he began uploading content. The first long-running series on his channel was titled Kickstarter Crap, which saw iDubs making fun of various lackluster Kickstarter projects. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Kickstarter Crap. Today the piece of crap that we're looking at is called Paintball Panda. I didn't even know The this. Bamboo Tales, that, your new everyday game. Although these videos were nothing more than simple rants, iDubs' unique style of presentation and sense of humor set him apart from other channels, which allowed him to rapidly increase his viewer base, growing from a few hundred thousand viewers content? per upload to over a million. This critical approach to making videos would bleed into his other projects and eventually lead to the creation of iDubs' most popular series, Content Cop. Hey Content everybody, Cop. welcome back there to it another is. episode of Content Cop. Today's the theme on Content Cop is I watched a handful of content cops and I found them to be interesting. At least the later ones that were released. Equality. But this time, I'm gonna make a video about a woman with, cop a with rice cup was pretty fun. We're yeah, 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 that's one. No jewel. Each upload uh, yeah, of the content just... cop series saw items break down and berate a specific controversial creator with several edgy jokes Post, like, three and days funny ago, sketches really? mixed in. Over the years, items would cover the likes of Tanner Mojo, Leafy is here, and Keemstar, which gave him a reputation for being one of the most ruthless commentary channels on YouTube. Combine yeah. this with unhinged collaborations with creators like Filthy Frank, Max Mofo, and anything. Yeah. Yep. Views, and it yep. was only a matter of time before iDubs reached legendary status on the platform. Hey guys, how you going? My name is Max Mofo. I'm Filthy Frank on iDubs TV. And today we're playing Deadly Twister. We've got the red spots which are fire, we've got the blue spots for the spaghetti, oh, the yellow what the fuck? The traps, and the green spots. I want to be honest, I know a lot of you and a lot of other people really liked uh, Filthy Frank's content. I was never a big fan of it. I especially remember Human Cake. Human Cake was shown to me. Chat, did you ever watch Human Cake? If, if you want to see something... If you want to see something cursed, watch Human Cake. I don't recommend it though. Which are pull up mystery challenge from the hat. If it lands on purple. Okay, well, okay, wasn't that Ultimately, bad, excuse you? Unorthodox creativity would inspire a whole generation of other creators to follow in his footsteps. While iDubs would later move away from the extremely edgy content, he managed to retain a majority of his fan base and seemed to be comfortable exploring other avenues of creativity. Unfortunately for iDubs, he was about to be put at odds with fans, and it wouldn't be for the content he created. In March 2020, iDubs' girlfriend, Anissa Jomha, published a tweet announcing she'd be making an OF account account and began yep. promoting it to both of their fan bases. I'm very excited to announce my lewd OF launch. Check me out in the link below. I... Idups became a cuck. Idups became a cuck, man. I'm very excited to provide cute cosplay photo sets and more. 
hard devil face. Under normal circumstances, announcements like this would generally go unnoticed, but Anissa's connection to Idubs would incite a response from his community. Seriously, Rip, Idubs has fallen. I can't believe Ian was a simp all along. I'm sort of disappointed. Really. Idubs, more like I cut. <laughs> While the comments from viewers were mostly lighthearted. <laughs> Trolling, idols would deem it necessary so to respond to the subset of fans that reacted negatively to the situation. Yeah. This Hello, is the everyone. last of him Welcome that I remember. Another episode of Idubs Complains. Literally, this is the last that I remember of him. And we're four minutes into the video. There's a whole 15 minutes left. This is a very special episode where I get to tackle two topics that I've recently become very passionate about. That is... A section of my audience who thinks they know me and my opinion on sex work. Following this, Idubs would directly attack members of his audience who didn't approve of Anissa's new line of work and made it clear he didn't care about their opinion. A good amount of people are just doing the reasonable thing and just making jokes and laughing. Chat. I wanna do a poll. I'm gonna do a poll. I, I need you guys' honest opinion. Would you date an OF? No, would you date a girl that has OF? Yes? No. Here you go. The answer is no. 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 Hell no. There it is. Well, we have one brave soldier that said yes. Well, respectable. <laughs> what the hell? Two saying yes. Damn. Depends. Nah. We have a handful of people that do say yes. Well, honestly, it depends. Okay. On what? Depends on what? I will take what I can get. How about she making? <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Am I co-starring? If they had just feet pics and no face. Okay, you know what? That one's fair, but no, let's say full on pussy pics, man. Like full on fucking pussy pics out. Full on nudes. They know something casual, perhaps. I mean, 10K is 10K. <laughs> Would a girl date me if I make videos for s of of slapping my knees in my belly? 99% would not. Fair comparison, honestly. Good to good comparison to news and face showing. Or is she trying to be partially anon? I mean, if she did it like yeah, yeah, like, like literally like uh, her, uh, her, like literally just say I'm, say I launch an OF now, you can look at my notes there. You know? Like her. Why are we clipping this? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but if me and my girl are living it up because she showed... Uh, I can't read that. I can't read it. Showed a hole on, on the internet, I see that as a win. Honestly, if you can go with that, that's a fair for you. If only that, then I don't care, really. Not that one would do with anyone anyway. Oh, in her case, maybe if she slept around, no way. Yeah, only fans, bad, whatever. Your message says join if you want a cookie. I want my cookie. <laughs> okay, sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Here, here, here's your cookie. That is a section of my audience who thinks they know me and my opinion on sex work. Following this, Idubs would directly attack members of his audience who didn't approve of Anissa's new line of work and made it clear he didn't care about their opinion. A good amount of people are just doing the reasonable thing and just making jokes and laughing about it. But there's a whole nother group of people who feel personally devastated and betrayed. First up, we got Edward. He probably got told by a lot of people that he looks like Idubs, and he really liked that because 
iDubbbz was cool. But now that iDubbbz is a simp, now he's gonna go in full baby Wawa mode. To try and prove the situation wasn't a big deal, iDubbbz claimed OF content had no impact Showing on someone's- my kids, my wife sold of pictures, see kids, that's your mom when we first met. Future job prospects or social standing, which was an uphill argument. I think this is one of the most important opinions to highlight because it really demonstrates a severe lack of real world experience when you're saying that future jobs are going to be harder to come by because of an OnlyFans account. They are though. <laughs> they are though. But they are though. They are though. <laughs> Like, if you think this affects hey, your standing or your social credibility in getting it jobs, does, though. you are so sadly mistaken. This is straight out of the playbook of the boomer who's decaying in his lazy boy, who- I, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, items, but they are, though! He had to strong fortune like community, don't know what he was expecting. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. And like, he was always the one that made fun of all the e-thoughts and all those people like that, you know? He was the guy that always fucking condemned simping and all that shit, so... For his girlfriend to then come out to be that, yeah, he, people definitely did feel betrayed. Ten this is straight out of the playbook of the boomer who's decaying in his lazy boy, who, who wants oh, yeah. to tell I you... Oh yeah, they are though. No. Did you wash your hands? Gonna work. I, I didn't go to the toilet. Thanks first, thanks for the follow. You, no one's gonna hire you looking like that. Even though the video attempted to present several compelling points, the fact that Idubs was making a response to what most people would consider a non-issue only amplified the negativity towards him and his girlfriend. One of the easiest ways to amplify negativity to yourself in real life is by That's smelling- That's true. He should have never even fucking addressed it. Like he took shit way too serious. Like, if he never fucking addressed it, people would have gotten bored of it at one point and just stopped talking about it, you know? Okay, so glad I didn't miss much from you reacting uh, to this video on Ian. Uh, yeah, 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 I even waited on the ad. I even waited on the ad. Bad. The worst part about it is that most people won't even tell you that you are the perpetrator of the unsettling scents. In fact, when people do tell you about your scent, it's generally in the form of compliments, when you're wearing a unique or satisfying fragrance. Oh my this God. month, I've been wearing a lot of Versace Ross, as I love the fresh summer scent, so which brings back a lot transition. of memories of having nights out in the city That's with my best friends. Fortunately, I've been able to keep in stock of cologne thanks to today's sponsor, fucking... Scentbird. Scentbird is a fantastic service which allows you I to did experience not see that coming. fragrances without breaking the bank. They allow you to all try honestly, popular the brands ads like that you Prada don't see Versace, coming are usually as well as more niche labels one of the best like transitions. Perfumes, Dimali, and Roja. They provide a generous amount of fragrance, which you they say lasts 30 days, sponsor. but I have found yeah, lasts yeah, yeah, even yeah. longer. Whilst this month I tried Versace Ross, I've also enjoyed Gold Expressive by Commodity, as well as Midnight Gold by English Laundry, which you can find linked okay, in the description. Okay, but what do they smell My like? The part about Scentbird is how affordable it is, as you get to try a wide range of fragrances without spending hundreds of dollars on individual bottles. A bonus of this is being able to experiment and truly find what suits you. If you're interested in Scentbird, use my code ATTICUS55OFF or the link below to get 55% off at Scentbird. You can get the product for half the price. That's just $8. I need to With that get a being said, let's get like back into too. the video where things get a lot worse for iDubs. While most of the commentary community acknowledged that the controversy was overblown, they also made it clear yeah, that iDubs' response was. only made the situation much worse. 100% While did. he was getting into this video talking about you know the the fans that he's cultivated that that are highly toxic he he went on them and he finally gave them what they want and emotional they did, reaction yeah. he did yeah he did give a them a week later anyways nobody would have talked about it there it is get bored and start playing fucking there it is. afterwards there it is the fact that you addressed it to over a million people guess what there it it's is. now going to be brought up for a while well this marks the first time idubs overcorrected when it correct me if i'm wrong did they break up recently I think I heard something like that, and the fact that the video is still 
over 10 minutes long. It came to controversy. You know what? Don't him tell me. It wouldn't Don't be tell the last, me spoilers. As he would go on to repeat this pattern of emotionally responding to criticism. On the 8th of January 2022, a creator by the name of Sam Hyde published a video titled The Truth About iDubs. At a first glance, this the video truth? seems like an expose piece about iDubs. But the two hour long video was actually roughly cut two footage hours. from a documentary that Sam and iDubs filmed together several months prior. For a bit oh. of context, Sam Hyde is an internet personality who made a career for himself by pushing the boundaries of what's considered what's acceptable again? in online comedy. The footage from the okay. video was meant okay. to be a part of another installment in iDubs' series of documentaries covering interesting online figures like Airsoft Fatty and Dax Flame. The documentary hasn't come out. He's the documentary it's like, is funny. Um, okay. eight, or nine, eight or nine months ago, we, it, we shot that footage and um, well, I'm totally sure. it's uh, clear have. that it's not coming out. And we went, we took like two weeks of our time and shot a bunch of shit that's like really awesome. And we spent like, uh, fucking, we rented yeah. all that shit. We spent we the T Rex. Spent, spent fucking fifteen thousand dollars on things. So you can't we, keep we, getting we away with this way. What do you mean? Footage. Sam went on to explain that he and his team included several bits of misleading but comedic information during filming to both make the documentary more exciting and prevent iDubs from a hit piece. We came up with a lot of funny ideas Wait, to like what? pull tricks and like do fit. I, like I hired this crackhead girl to pretend to be my <laughs> girlfriend and we did. Oh you know, my God. All these funny God. like prank things, but it wasn't to make him look like an asshole. It was to like make his project funnier. I wanted to make a video with iDubs where it was like, oh my god, this is fucking crazy, mayhem, this is funny. Part of what went wrong was I think so partially fabricated iDubs was kind of, kind of trying to punk me a little bit yeah. and like make me look Why like would... a guy that had like, fallen off, which I have, like I've fallen off, like undoubtedly. Sam's cut of the documentary would garner over 3 million views and lead fans to theorize that the reason iDubs hadn't released his version was that he intended to misrepresent Sam. iDubs tried to make an on-location documentary following around Sam Hyde to mock him for being washed up. He never uploaded it. Now Sam is showing the footage and it's two hours of him and his crew fucking with Ian and making him seem like a meek, awkward nerd, Lamau. A month later, I Interesting. Adobs would upload his version of the documentary, titled Getting Away With It, during which he shed light on his thought process during filming. Apparently, Adobs wanted to get an authentic look into who Sam was beyond his comedic persona. Back in March, we went to Rhode Island to film a documentary with Sam Hyde, who's known for right his right comedy me. videos. I thought it'd be interesting to get to know more about Sam, uh, because not many people know much about him. He's a bit mysterious. He's a bit unwieldy. Whether or not iDubs okay. wanted to portray Sam negatively was anyone's guess. However, it was clear that the conflict of interest between both parties had affected the overall quality of the documentary. On one side, Sam wanted to create a comedic spectacle. On one hand, whenever iDubs created any sort of content, especially his content cop, man, he was always exposing people for how they are displaying the, them as dumb people, how they are actually behind the camera, and that they're still stupid behind the camera. So I can't really fault Sam Hyde for literally fucking with iDubs, because some of the people that iDubs does film, they don't even fucking know what he's filming it for. Some of them really didn't know. Okay. I, I can't fault Sam Hyde for fucking uh, uh, with them, you know? Because iDubs always fucked with other people. While on the other, iDubs sought to make an introspective look into an elusive online personality. At the end of the day, neither side got what they wanted and only walked away with a bit of feud between them. A feud mm. that would only get worse with time. Oh, Later no. that year, iDubs would announce an influencer boxing event dubbed Creator Clash to raise money for different charities. Seeing a chance to settle a one-sided rivalry with Hassan Pika, Sam would oh. request to be part of the event. But iDubs and Anissa almost immediately turned down the request. There's been some talk of sam hyde getting involved in your event uh could you speak to that yeah we just did a live stream where we spoke to it uh a little bit uh but if anyone saw the documentary getting away with it uh you've never seen memes of sam hyde mocked as the shooter for like various distresses event no i actually haven't i live quite on the rock man i do live quite on the rock we worked with sam hyde for a period involving him in our event just 
isn't a good idea. I it's think just most a people massive would business risk. I That's think just... most people would understand that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you, really, Monkey. Oh, thank you. To viewers, it almost seemed hypocritical for Idubs, an individual with a similar controversial past, to exclude Sam from the event for being a quote brand risk. Even though Sam couldn't directly participate, he still managed to get involved by training another fighter named Harley Morenstein of the Epic Mill Time YouTube channel. So is your is your first day of real training tomorrow then? This With is Sam, Sam Hyde. Remember Sam Hyde. It oh, might be yeah. any minute, huh? It's oh yeah, literally it the right second now. I'm done here, I uh -huh. have a mysterious address that on Google Maps looks like a parking lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm going to meet him there. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh -huh. it would be later revealed on Instagram that Sam wouldn't even be allowed to attend the Creator Clash event. With a comment okay. from Sam reading, To clarify, I bought five front row tickets and found out a few hours before the event that I was banned. So out wasn't of about even allowed to watch. K, also security was walking around with pictures of my face. Wait, he wasn't even allowed to watch? I'm bothering some people about wearing my shirts. And the cameramen were told to avoid entire sections of the crowd rocking my shiz. Lol. And I'd still train items for the revenge match if he apologized. Mercy and Grace high on the list nowadays. Just got a ditch Yoko Ono, referring to Anissa. What the Sometime fuck? after Creator Clash, Sam would make an appearance on the Buckingham show to share his thoughts on the entire debacle. Personally, you were That's gonna be so disrespectful, yeah. You on card at any point? That's my no, stuff. Like, if you have a personal feud with a person, sure, you know? But, like, letting him even pay the shit and... Bro, that's so scummy. But I didn't, I didn't realize at any point that I was going to be fucking blacklisted from a charity event. I got five front row tickets. A charity uh, event! $10,000, and it's for charity. And supposedly, I'm going to be refunded this money, so he... At least, I guess. Wants me not around badly enough that it's worth taking away ten thousand dollars from charity that's messed up man ten thousand dollars he While the reason for his ban was never stated, Sam suspected that Anissa pushed Idubs to make the decision. Like deep Why down, Anissa? I want him to be uncucked. I want the him to get the tattoo. I want him to be uncucked. He's lasered off, get a normal haircut, okay. get rid of Yoko Ono. That's poisonous. <laughs> that relationship is poisonous. I think she's got to go, man. She's gonna, she's gonna ruin his life. I, I I have nothing about the uh, like I, I I got nothing. I don't know what kind of content Anissa does apart from the OF. It wouldn't be the first time that people speculated that Anissa had played a role in items making bad choices. I don't There's know like about some that. Days where I ask Ian, like, have I ruined your life? Like, I feel like some because you get so many messages. Yeah. Where like you have to think about it. It's like Ian as a person has not changed very much in like regards to his like moral stance on a lot of things. But like Ian and how he feels about how he wants to put himself on the internet. Regardless of the reason behind Sam's ban, public sentiment towards Idubs and Anissa was at an all-time low. And by the time Creator Clash 2 rolled around, it would only get worse. Oh boy. By the start of 2023, Sam had completely turned against Idubs and began highlighting okay. the many issues Sam. <laughs> I mean, with all the um fucking spied Idubs are showing Sam and the had wonder. With him. During the lead up to the second creator clash, a fighter by the name of Froggy Fresh would become the focal point of online debate and controversy regarding Froggy the event. Fresh? Not only was he being trained by Sam Hyde, but he also made some interesting comments about subscribing to Anissa's OF. If I don't hurt Wait, you what? beyond what anybody could have imagined, I will be so disappointed in myself that I will subscribe to Anissa's OF. Wait, 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 come again. But he also made some interesting comments about subscribing to Anissa's OF. If I don't hurt you beyond what anybody could have imagined, I will be so disappointed in myself that I will subscribe to Anissa's OF. If I can't hurt you beyond... What? But he also made some interesting comments about subscribing no to Anissa's OF. No way, he said OF. what I think he if said. If I don't hurt you beyond what anybody could have imagined, if I don't hurt you beyond what anybody could have imagined. But he wants to beat him the fuck up. What the fuck? I will be so disappointed in myself that I will subscribe to Anissa's own. 
By the 25th of March 2023, just two days. That's a low blow, though. That's a little bit of a days blow, after Froggy blow, blow, made man. that comment, the Creator Clash Twitter account. I just got a bad Would hope. make this announcement. They're There's just... been a change in the lineup, yeah. and Froggy. Uh, bro, they had no fucking issues refunding 10k. They had no fucking issues refunding 10k that we're going for charity. They had no issues with that. Of course they just got a banner. Hey Fresh will no longer expect? be fighting against Chris Raygun. We will announce his replacement in the coming days. Of with course. just three weeks left, the countdown to Creator Clash 2. Doesn't mean he had to subscribe to the OnlyFans since he didn't uh, hurt him beyond what anyone could believe. It has begun. Creator Clash's goal is to make an inclusive and fun environment for creators and Creator, fans while Creator, giving back uh, to charity. Creator Clash that has, has always out, been yeah, our mission. And Froggy Fresh's recent behavior does not align with that mission. We look forward to sharing this positive experience on April 15th. Since the yes, reason for the ban was never stated, fans viewed the unexplained ban as another example of iDubs using a heavy-handed approach to silence someone he didn't like. As a result, yep. Twitter erupted with criticism and negativity directed at iDubs and on one hand, it's cr a crater clash? Clash of craters, whatever the fuck it's called. On one hand, it's his event, right? It's his decision who the fuck goes on the event and who doesn't, on one hand. On the other hand, it's event made for charity. And you would not want to have bad publicity around a charity event. You know? The whole Creator Clash what event, the fuck? with a tweet from Moist Critical stating, I'm really disappointed by this. Kicking him for Twitter controversy after months of training is brutal. I don't it think is. any jokes he made were intended to be mean spirited or shit on anyone. Hopefully they reconsider this decision. From the from the clip that we've seen, no, that was that was straight up disrespectful. Come on, Charlie. That was straight up. That was, that was straight up disrespect. In response to the overwhelming hostility towards the event, the organizers at Creator Clash released another statement that they hoped would clarify the reason for banning Froggy. We want to provide some additional information around the rationale for this decision. We have a legally binding code of conduct that each of our Creator Clash true fighters are held to, the violation okay. of which is grounds for termination. Unfortunately, there were several violations made by Froggy Fresh during his tenure with the Creator Clash this year. To add insult to injury, Creator Clash okay. organizers threw to sue Froggy and demanded he return the funds given to him to cover the training cost. <laughs> they even funded his training? What he said on the clip could mean, but the whole point is build hype and having some sort of conflict would boost eyes and sales of tickets. Good point. Very good point. Very good point. With a tweet reading, Now I've been threatened with a potential lawsuit if I spoke about this entire mess. And demanding the 15k I used for training, equipment, travel, etc. over the last five months? Unbelievable. Is this for charity or what's going on? A month after Creator Clash 2, Idols would come out with a video addressing the real reason Froggy was banned from the event. Oh <laughs> the real reason. The main reason Froggy was kicked from the card was for collaborating yeah. with Sam Hyde. There it is. There it is. I ha I had no doubts. And I had no doubts. Know, for anyone who's been following the story, that's you know fairly obvious. Uh, Froggy has explained uh, you know his side of the story multiple times. He's been perpetuating a narrative. Puts the charity in a bad light. It does. That it's about it does. OnlyFans, or that it's about Anissa's mom, and it, that's. He's taking shit way too personal. He's taking shit way too personal. It's not like the other people aren't... Like, it's not like the other people aren't going out of their way to make it, in a sense, personal. They are. But... Idubs should have been the bigger person here. Definitely should have been the fucking bigger person here. Simple as. Simple as. Especially if he wants to do it for charity. You can't host a charity event. Like, if it's... Any fucking other event that you just do for yourselves, right? Then, what the fuck ever. But it's a charity event! Extremely deceptive. Idubs would go on to explain that due to Sam making disparaging comments about Anissa, so he didn't want him anywhere near the event. So yeah, now that this guy is on the daily insulting my wife, I think it's pretty fair to, you know, not want to associate with him in any way. Uh, I don't like him. And, and Froggy knows that. Froggy knows that I don't like him. Of course. That's why he was banned. In addition to this, Idols would also address the claims that he and Creator Clash were suing Froggy. By the way, we weren't suing Froggy. Uh, we have no interest in going to court over $15,000. Uh, we wanted that $15,000 back, but 
you know, he wasn't giving it to us. So we, mm -hmm. we so have to leave it So it is what it that. is. You know, we're not suing him. Well, Idubs was transparent. Yeah, he doesn't need that money. Hearing about his decision to ban Sam and anyone associated with him, the reaction to the video would be overwhelmingly negative for obvious reasons. <laughs> to make is. matters worse, Froggy would release a legal document that confirmed Creator Clash did indeed threaten him with they legal action. So he straight up lied. Hey, a client to the Reading, list. If he failed to return the enclosed acknowledgement by the specified date, Creator Clash shall seek all remedies available by law and equity due to a material breach of the bout agreement, including Ed without limitation, seeking punitive and consequential Caught. damages. Yep. The Caught troubles for the fuck. Creator Clash brand wouldn't stop there, as it was later revealed that the event lost over $250,000 due to overspending and mismanagement. Another noteworthy point in IDubs' response video was how he mm -hmm. expressed discontent with his edgy content cop phase. Uh, you know, despite many people being entertained by it, you know, I'm not trying to take that away from you. If you feel like you've learned important lessons or mm -hmm. you have grown as a person because of the content I've made, I don't want to take that away from you. With some good can come a lot of bad. And I think I've done a lot of bad. Idubs would echo this sentiment in a video titled I Miss the Old Idubs, in which he apologized to viewers for building his career oh, I on think hatred, I remember. harassment, oh, and oh, negativity. Oh, 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 oh. I think I, I remember this actually coming out. That I need to be crystal clear about what I believe so there's no room for ambiguity. I. You know what he reminds me of? Like the way he looks now? He looks like a deadbeat dad. Like, I'm just gonna say it. He looks like a deadbeat dad. You know? Like the ones that... are uh, fucking drunk or it's... F fucking beat their wife. You, you'd catch them in... In, in trailer parks. They live in a trailer parks. He looks like... Like fucking... The ones in the movies, yeah, he looks textbook, man. He looks like a Florida man in jail. <laughs> He'd appear on a trailer park show. Yeah, like... It's the mustache. It's the combination of mustache and that he has, like, slight curls in his hair and that his hair is unkempt. And his physique... Alongside his physique, it's not doing well. He looks British, poor British, like soccer ho hooligan. Yeah, kind of. I am responsible for creating a lot of hurtful and damaging content on this channel. I have made some cruel, hurtful content, and I need to acknowledge that, and I'm really sorry that it's taken me this long to acknowledge it. While Idub seemed to be making a genuine attempt to right what he thought were wrongs in his early days on YouTube, many of his fans would see this as him being insecure about the man he once was, and a betrayal of the fan base that made him famous to begin with. With comments reading, You weren't funny because you were offensive. You were just a very funny dude. You can be self-aware and still be funny. There are some True. people who- True. People liked him because he always seemed like an honest person. A person that didn't get offended very easily. A person who would speak his mind. A person who would call out other people just virtue signaling. For all of that to, in the end, seeming to be a facade. He looks like the dude that was insulting Wendy Gun based on the friends. <laughs> oh my god, he kind of does own that outfit. I don't know what I was saying anymore. Let's, let's move there on. There are some people who fully deserve the content cop that they got as well as the old idubs would have never addressed the people saying they missed the quote old idubs unquote sadly idubs lack of confidence in himself as a creator would bleed into other projects that he was a part of and viewers would take notice special guest ian ian has flown all the way here to albania to test these gadgets in this undisclosed <laughs> location and shoot is that only because of the offensive jokes and content of why people liked him? He never took anyone's crap, no matter what awful things were said to him, and he would call out those people for what awful things or what arrogant BS they would spew to their audience and to the web. Would call out... I'm I'm sorry. I'm actually thinking I'm having an aneurysm. I don't know what you're saying. Oh my fucking god. 
Oh my fucking god, I'm having an aneurysm, man. We are kitchen. Take your time. Literally brain dead right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not only because of the offensive jokes of why people liked him. He never took anyone's crap, no matter what awful things they were said to him. And he would call out those people for what awful things or what arrogant BS they would spew to their audience and to the web. <laughs> you know what? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> Yes. I get what you're saying. You are right. I have nothing more to add. You are right. <laughs> Idubs' lack of confidence in himself as a creator would bleed into other projects that he was a part of, and viewers would take notice. Special guest Ian. Ian has flown all the way here to Albania to test these gadgets in this undisclosed location and studio kitchen with us. What will happen? Will someone get electrocuted? Will a hot dog blow up? with comments reading, you guys are lucky he could fit you in between his wife's tattoo appointments. This is how a dog who's been ruthlessly abused his whole life acts when he enters a new loving home. As well as, only one guy was missing for the whole gang to be reunited again. Well, actually two, because Ian wasn't there. That was just a robot with Ian's skin. Items made a name for himself by having Bruh. no filter and being direct with the content that he created. Yeah, Understandably, he would mature over there. the years. And there it is. To say earlier, that's exactly what I was trying to say. People mature, content, but the way he went about it completely alienated his core fans. That's, a good that's exactly what I meant. How he frequently threw his viewers under the bus in interviews. I did not like the interactions that I had with fans. There were quite a few human beings that I interacted with in person, that, yeah, in person that just sucked. Ooh. They just sucked because I attracted. A lot of people who suck. Antisocial, weird, basement dwellers, and you know, the one time a month that they come out. Well, yeah, because he seemed to be that kind of person. Out of their cave is going to restock on supplies at Walmart, and they run into me, their favorite YouTuber. Combine this with his approach to other edgy creators like Sam Hyde, and it was only a matter of time before yeah. fans began to resent him. Yep. Over the past few years, Idops has continued to lose his fan base, Sorry, just with his channel dropping over 700,000 subscribers. Whether his unenthusiastic approach to content creation was due to recent uploads struggling to reach 1 million views, backlash from fans, or remorse for his past actions was anyone's guess. However, we can only hope that Idops is able to pull himself out of this slump and return to is being the YouTube legend he once his, was. Uh, with Stop. Anissa? Before we finish the video, I just oh. want to shout out Scentbird once again for supporting my channel. And there you can you find them in the link in the description. With that being said, YouTube thinks you should click the video on screen. <laughs> That's always a good transition. Is he still together with Anissa? I don't actually know. Oh well, but to me, he fell off. He did fall off. People do mature, but the, it's the way that he did alienate his fan base. He even married her and got her family name. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn. He got her family name? Interesting. They do a podcast? All right. All right. Okay, I see. Well, that should be all. Thanks for watching, YouTube. <laughs>